Hey guys, Adrian here on the behalf of iTouchApps.net and today we're taking a look at a beautiful mess. Now a beautiful mess is a camera utility here that basically their tagline is your life is beautiful so should your photos. So this is a way to make your photos uh, you know kind of pretty them up and share them with friends, add some filters, fonts, hand-drawn doodles, all this kind of crazy stuff here. So uh, as you can see here you have a really kind of simple interface. You have the option to pick one of two to get started. You can choose a background or your photo library. So if I say if there's a background here you can just choose a uh, image here from your uh, background library but as you can see here there's nothing to choose which is the issue of this application it has a kind of bit of bugs scattered throughout the app here so in this case you just kinda get stuck on this menu and you can't really choose anything and there's no way to go back alright so if you just go to choose your photo library here then you can go in and access the photos so I can choose a picture here so for example let's say I went with, uh, let's see here, I took a picture here of my watch, for example. So I can take this picture and I can do a couple things. I can scale and crop, and that's what I'm doing right now. So what I can do is just adjust this however I want to crop it. So let's say I like the way that looks right there. Um, and I can go back if I want to go back. So you can see that that's how you go back in the top left. Um, but if I say, oh, let me jump back to that photo here really quickly. Jump back to this photo, and let's say, yeah, it's right about there. As like, so I can hit the check in the top right, it's going to render the image. Now I can do a couple of things. I can do filters, borders. So let's go into filters here. It gathers the filters, and I can go through. And you can see there's only a couple filters, and nothing too crazy here. There's only about six of them. So let's say I went with Poppy, for example. I can adjust it here. So it's some nice adjustment options, and I can adjust brightness, contrast, etc. When I'm done with that, I can do other stuff. Borders, I can do text. Text is a really nice thing. They did on this, uh, in this case, I really like how they did the text here. They have some nice kind of cool fonts. So I can, for example, say time here. And then I can adjust that. That's, so that's kind of a cool thing to do. Really cool way to adjust text. You can pick a color here to make it kind of stand out more. So let's go with a dark, like a black probably, and put it right over here. I can easily add that, hit the thing, render the image. And I can add other stuff. I can draw on it. I can add doodles here. You can see I can add these little... Uh, cool drawings and like point to things like so and you can uh, adjust them but one thing I don't like it doesn't really make it so that you can really rotate these pictures as far as I'm concerned but you can't really adjust the doodles too nicely here so I don't you know it, it's missing a lot of things definitely so I can hit that right there um, I can do phrases here and again you know it has some stuff here and has a lot of in-app purchases so if you want to get more there's tons and tons of in-app purchases they include all these you know font packs backgrounds all this stuff um, and once you're finally done, you can hit done here and you'll say all done, finished, and you can see it gives you the photo. You can share it out to your favorite social networks, all of that good stuff. But that's really about it. To be honest, though, when it comes down to it, at 99 cents, this thing packs uh, not too many features, not too many filters. It does a lot of cool things and it does it in a nice little interface, but that's about it. It has tons of in-app purchases. I think a lot of them should be included in the initial app to kind of give it more features. And a lot of users, and in my experience as well, there's just a lot of bugs. Um, there's no undo features. Yeah, there's photo quality when you, um, you know, photo quality is not bad because it's importing it from your camera roll. Uh, it doesn't, for when I'm concerned, doesn't have a way to just take a shot right off the bat here. So you can't really take a shot um, from the actual application. You have to take it on the camera app and then import it right in. Um, it's, you know, aesthetically nice, but the app itself, you know, the name and everything kind of fits the UI, but the app doesn't feature too many features and that's what it really comes down to for 99 cents i can't really recommend a beautiful mess if you're looking for a nice photo utility i think there's tons of others out there that do it much better anyways guys you can find more at itouchapps.net thanks for watching